praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Barasham, Yahushai, Barasham, Rachakadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, elder bishops, teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone but are pushing the same doctrine. Given to Apostle Tahan Down, initially from Abba Bivins, Elder Abba Bivins, and the men of One West, from Yahweh Barasham Yahushai. Salutations um, to the elect men, women, and children of the house of David who are predestined to be saved in these last days. Um, yeah, so I was looking for a few articles. Um, let's get straight to the point. Um, so much going on. There's an FTX thing. I was look, watching the video, reading articles. Um, yeah, from one of the elders in the Jersey camp. Um, yeah, about FTX, but um, then going through articles at the same time. Looking at the news, and the spirit jumped on me to, well, this when I seen this, I thought, wow, you know, just I've got to do a quick hit the button, do a quick lesson on this. Um, the headlines read: Tucker Carlson, it's time we talked about the elite um, pedophilia, pedophilia problem. You know, this is a, it's in um, News Punch, November twenty third, twenty twenty two. Esau is being exposed on many levels. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly get um, the Psalms 64 first. <laughs> so they shall, Psalms 64 and 8. Let's get straight to the point here. I'm going to go straight to the point of the scriptures. I'm at the plantation again. You know, so, you know, but I've got um, a bit of Bit of um, no workers are here, so I can just do this quick lesson. Lord's will, it'll be edifying. So they shall make their own to tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. I'll read it in the NLT. Their own tongues will ruin, ruin them, and all who see them will shake their heads in scorn. Yeah, let's get a few fall upon. Yeah, so get a few um, outline of biblical usage. Stumble to tatter, um, see, to cause to stumble, bring injury or ruin to overthrow. You know, and what does um to to oh. The KJV translates Strong's in the following manner: fall, stumble, cast down, overthrown, ruin, feeble, um, bereaved, decayed, faileth, utterly weak. Variant, yeah. So I mean, there's a few words here that just describe it. Esau is being cast down, yeah. Oh wow, you know what? Let's quickly get that. Um, huh. um, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin oh. daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones, grind the meal, uncover thy locks, make beer, the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over thee. Yeah. And this is going into um, Esau being exposed. Yeah. The, the, the nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and not meet thee as a man. That's when Yahweh Shai returns. Yeah, he's not going to become, he's going to come in his, all his glory to take Esau down, you know, and, uh, and take his kingdom. But what we're doing, but what's happening now is the prophets are exposing through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Shai, exposing Esau. Yeah, that's what's happening. He's being exposed. Um, Daughter of Babylon, we're going to Psalms 137 to get understanding on that. I'm not going to go into that right now. So yeah, Esau's just being exposed, man. Yeah. Um, let me go to one scripture here. Even by his own people. 49. Go here. Esau Edom is a so-called white man, by the way, if you don't know. <laughs> Simple as that. Because they're in their rulership, and it's the end of Esau's time. 
and we can see that all, all day long. Um, but I have made Esau bear, I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbours, and he is not. Yeah, so eventually, he's going to be Obadiah 118. Uh, we had um, Haman at Vocab Malone going into Elder Yashawamba did a latest video on that. Oh, they're just fear. They're, they're, they're scared. They're scared. One minute they're saying we should um, Vocab Malone and like are saying we should love Esau or Edom. And next minute they're saying, oh, um, it doesn't exist. So which one is it? <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? In there, man, we know what the truth is with the spirit of Yahabash and Yashai from the prophets who are the elders of GMS from Apostle Tahar on down. Yeah, right? Simple as that. We know the truth. I'll call hello, Yahabashim Yashai, for allowing us to see this truth in these final days. You know, it's the hopeful elect. Um, let me go to this article again. So the headlines here. I'm just going to read a few um, points, a few paragraphs. Lord's will, I'll put this in the description box. Like I said, it's going to be a brief lesson. Um, for the news, sorry, Fox News host Tucker Carlson was declared has declared that it's time for the American nation to discuss the elephant in the room, elite pedophilia. <laughs> well, didn't he have um, the, the Kanye West or Ye, whatever his name is now, speaking on speaking on the sacrifice and all the kind of the wickedness that's going on. Do you know what I mean? That the apostles brought out when I when I first started listening to the, the men of Great Moston, they were bringing this thing out. You know, I've only been listening for two, what, listening and learning for two, two or three years now, um, two years max, I think, two years. But anyway, doesn't matter. But the point is, <laughs> they brought it out from the day that, from 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 decades ago, yeah, about the the sacrificing and the witchcraft, and all the the wickedness, the east of the perversion. Let me just get get that actually. Eh? Perverse spirit, you know, as you read the scriptures, you know, you read the article, I'm trying to get into the article, but, um, yeah, yeah. scriptures has come to mind, yeah, go straight to the point here, and the Lord, Yahweh Shimon Shai, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit, yeah, so, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, um, Hebrews 12 and 16, um, any fornicator or profane person is Esau, right? But the fact is, we, we see this perverseness being shown and shown uh, more and more. And by the way, if you want to get understanding on um, Egypt, you, and what Egypt is a house of bondage, that's um, second, sorry, Exodus 20th chapter, second verse, and also um, um, Revelation 11 and 8, yeah, um, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, but that, that's Babylon the Great, that's America. So, you know, there's no new thing under the sun, you know, simple as that. Right, we're in Egypt again, we are as the Israelites, um, as Yeshua, still yet this day in our captivity. So don't get it twisted. Yeah. Um, according to Carlson, at the highest levels of politics, finance, and the entertain entertainment industry, industry, a shadowy cabal. Go into that word, it's political clique, but I'll go into that word for understanding. It's political clique, cabal. <sighs> a secret political clique or faction. It's basically a secret group. Yeah. Cabal of pedophiles use their power to hide the, the sickening crimes they commit against children. Um, reports Jeffrey Epstein, for example. Epstein continued to dine with business moguls and the heads of state a long, long after he was arrested for having, you know, in, with minors. How did he do that? Why didn't and nobody say anything? Why did people... Um, keep eating with him. Well, they're not in trouble like other men. I'm, I'm going to quickly get that as well. Well, at this very least, we can conclude, based on the evidence, that there is a tolerance for paedophilia among some. 
a look at a scripture. Um, it's like here, Psalms 73. Psalms 73 and 5. Um, no, sort of 4. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Um, <laughs> therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Wow, I could continue reading. Oh, wow, I've got to. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. You know, it's Esau, Edom all over. You know, God, the scriptures are so amazing for the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. The water for giving us the understanding. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Where are we? I'm gonna read a few more lines of this. Actually, I'm gonna get yeah, going to this Bert Salaga thing. And based on evidence, and there is a tolerance for paedophilia among some, among the most powerful in our society, a tolerance that you would not find in, say, your average middle class, yeah, whatever, American family. Some of the rich um, really are different that way. You know, they're just, anyway, I'm going to get a scripture on that. That's clearly true. And in the case you need more, in case you need more evidence of that, consider Bessilianga, Balenciaga, Balenciaga, what? Is consider a luxury brand, blah, 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 blah. This week, Balenciaga, I've skipped a few lines. This week, Balenciaga rolled out a new ad con campaign on Instagram and the selling point of the ads was sex with children, madness. Yeah, um, I'm going to get a scripture. Uh, where, where, where? Uh, Book of Syrac. 10th chapter, first verse. Hmm. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Yeah. In the article it says, oh, the average American family isn't like that. We'll see what the scriptures say. As the judge of the people is himself, you know, the elites, they judge this, you know, they're the rulers of this place. You know, um, the scriptures and um, Isaiah 19 said, the Most High Yahweh has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt. So are his officers, and what manner of what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yeah, and that's the point I wanted to make there. Eventually, Yahweh Shemesh has verse four says he will put one that is profitable to the world, which will be Yahweh Shai. And Yasharala, 144,000 rulers. Yeah. And um, the, 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 the elect. So I'm going to... Lord's well, I'm going to put this in the description box. Bear with me one second. I'll get one more scripture to finish it off with. Right, yeah, let's start from the top. Now we beseech ye, brethren, by the word, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from as, as that day of a Mashiach is at hand, and it is surely at hand, yeah? Let no man deceive you, by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. We fell away in 70 AD. You know, we discontinued from our heritage. Um, Jeremiah 1704. Um, and that man of sin being revealed, the son of perdition. And uh, we are in the day where the spirit of Yahweh is revealing this man. 
Yeah. He will oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High, all that is worship. So that as God sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God. All right, I'm going to read down to, wow. <laughs> I'm going to read down to eight, I think. Um, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, yeah? And now ye you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, and this is where we're at. We're in the time of that revealing of Esau, Edom. Yeah, and his wickedness upon the earth. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. work. So in, so at that time, you know, um, Apostle Paul knew, uh, Paul knew, you know, that the Romans were um, already in rulership, which was the Edomites. Yeah, only he who have, who now let if will let, and Yahabash Mirashai has allowed them to to do the wickedness, you know, because Yahabash Mirashai um, is long suffering, yeah, until the time be, and the, the, the Esau's at his end now, until he be taken out of the way, and this was well, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the beginnings, of the son of perdition being um, <laughs> taken out, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's the prophets who are on the highways and byways, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when Yahweh shall return, yeah, he's going to take them out finally and surely, 100%ly, just deal with them, and it's going to take an hour. Yeah, we're going to scriptures on that. Um, we take one hour, so in Revelation 18th chapter, um, I forget a good description of it, when Yahweh shall returns on a great mountain, second edge of the 13th chapter. So yeah, so Lord's will, this was edifying. I could continue reading, get many more scriptures, and there's a few simple scriptures there. But um, uh, Lord's will, I've made the point, and it's edifying to the elect. You know, stay prayed up. We keep hope in Yahweh Shemoshai. Fear of Yahweh Shemoshai, because we don't know what, what's what, you know. So we're not promised tomorrow, simple as that. But we keep praying, keep watching. With that, I'm going to say Shalom to the elect. From the hopeful elect, Shalom.